Hello again, friends. We're continuing to look at Philippians, the Apostle Paul's letter from lockdown. Paul's a prisoner, and he writes these words in chapter 1 and verse 19 and following. I will continue to rejoice, for I know that through your prayers and God's provision of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, what has happened to me will turn out for my deliverance. I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Our society doesn't talk very much about death normally. Well, COVID-19 has changed all that. Now death is in our face, and many people would give anything to have Paul's confidence that death will be gain. Well, hear this. Jesus lived and died and rose again to make this confidence in the face of death a reality for all his followers. But before death comes life. So let me ask you, what does it mean for you to live? Paul writes, for to me to live is Christ. But how would you finish the sentence? For to me to live is what exactly? For some people, life means their family. For some, their home or their career or their physical fitness or even their looks. And yes, all of these things really are precious. But if they're the ultimate thing in our life, then when they're taken away, as they all surely will be sooner or later, our personal world collapses. All these things are an insecure foundation for life. For Paul, life is Christ. And that means he's standing on solid ground because he can never lose Christ only get to know him better and to enjoy him more. And that's why for Paul to die is gain, because it will mean more of Christ, more of what he's lived for, not less. And that's why when as a prisoner he had lost everything else, he was still on top, still filled with Christian hope and joy. It's a truly radical message, isn't it? That if Christ is your greatest joy, then nothing can ever take your joy away. As Christians, we are not headed for extinction in which we lose everything. We are headed for Christ, in whose arms we will find everything we could ever wish for, and so much more besides. But only when Christ is our life will death truly be our gain. You see, at death, you're either parted from your treasure or you receive it. For Paul, because Christ is his treasure, death is gain. He knows that when death comes, he'll be able to say, look friends, I'm not losing everything I've lived for, I'm gaining it. So try filling in the blanks for yourself. For me to live is what? And to die is, for me to live is money. And to die is to leave it all behind. For me to live is my home. And to die is to close the door for the last time. For me to live is my family. And to die is to say goodbye. For me to live is me, and to die is to lose everything. Or, for me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for all your good gifts, but please, please keep us from ever giving them the place in our hearts that belongs to Christ alone.
May we truly be able to say that to live is Christ and to know that to die is gain. For your glory's sake. Amen. God bless you, friends. Bye for now.